All right, we're here today at Wilsey Asset Management. We've got the president, Brent Wilsey, here today, and we're so excited to be here in your office. It's got air conditioning. Whew, it's better than my studio, so much better. Oh my God, you don't even know everybody. We're so excited to be cool here. It's San Diego, California, where we're at, and wow. Brett Wilsey, say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Did I say that right? Yes, Wilsey? you did. All Wilsey, right. yes. We spent 20 minutes before the show trying to enunciate his name right. It just comes out as Wilsey all the time, but it's wi- It's Wilsey, and everybody gets it wrong. It's so <laughs> easy. When you look at it, it's just W-I-L-S-E-Y. And I tell people, just say, Wilsey Brent at 12 o'clock. So <laughs> we'll see. Brent. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, it is 12 o'clock right now, just about. <laughs> so we'll see Brent at 12 o'clock here today. So by the way, you have a beautiful office here today. At Thank you. We'll see asset management. And um, you're one of my first guests that uh, deal with asset management. And this is pretty exciting to have somebody on here that's inspirational and uh, helping people you know, save mm. their future and make a lot of money at the same time. Well, great to be here. Yeah. What do you think of the stock market right now? Is this crazy? You know, it's, it's funny you start off with that because we're asset managers and I tell people uh, the stock Stock market's a crazy place. It is. But what we look at is not a stock market, but a market of stocks. And we go there to buy small pieces of large companies. I don't care what the stock market does day to day. I look at where we'll be 12, 18, 24 months from now. Can and you, just to let can you, you say that again to me? Because I like that. It's a market of stocks. Yes. Yeah. It's not a stock market. That's a crazy thing. Yeah, that's but, a market. Yeah. That, yeah. But it's a market of stocks. And that means you can go there and pick out a company that you want and buy it and put it in your portfolio. And, and we had, um, during this market correction we just went through, and I've been waiting for years for this to happen, we had about 10 people call. We have probably close to 500 clients, about 10 people called. And of those 10, eight people said, I want to come in and add money to the account. Because we educate clients on buying small pieces of large companies and not playing the stock market. The stock market is a crazy place. Don't do it. It's gambling, pretty it, much, it, right? It's legalized gambling. Yeah, it really gambling. is, yeah. 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 You know, it's, it, it's really funny that you say that because I really, I always kind of look at, way back when, when the stock market was created. Okay, mm-hmm. so if you look at way back in the original thing, and these people, they were laborers and they would, they would invest in companies and they were investing in a company. Mm-hmm. Like, a, you know, just like you're saying here. And they would put that money in forever, right? right. They would right. put in that company forever and watch it grow. And now we just put it in it for the quick buck. You, you know what's happened, Dennis, is because of the change in technology. And technology is a great thing, right. but now we can see second by second trades on these stocks, and we, we get into it, and the emotions. Of, we're emotional beings, and it's very hard to control those. We trade on the emotions, and you can't do that. You have to look at saying, hey, I own a small piece of, of a corning glass, and they're doing a great business. The glass is growing. We're using glass and iPhones and iPads and computers and cars. Gee, I want to own a piece of that business. Don't worry about the day-to-day movement of that stock price. And and because we're hit with it so many times on the news, we get tied into it. Yep. Yeah, we. I guess a lot of people look at it as a, as buying us. Like you said, I mean, I love how you. That's why I wanted you to repeat that. Is sure. You're buying into a company, so the stock. The word stock almost is. I'm buying into a company, not a stock. And you're right. If you're buying that corning thing for the iPhones, it, we can only see where the future is going with that. I mean, they're just coming up with so much great technology, and and we just kind of. Don't look at it that way, right? A lot of people just don't. They just look at it, okay, well, what's it going to do in a year? Yes, well, yeah. Or, or not even a year. I wouldn't mind a year. It's a day or a week, and, and it'd be, oh, I'm in the long term. And it's funny. As soon as the market goes down, oh, I need to sell, I need to get out. Yeah. No, you own a company. Don't right. worry about it. And, and I will tell you, we spend so much time educating our clients. We do quarterly dinners each quarter for our clients to understand what's going on. They're not sales seminars. Right. They're dinners where I talk about what's going on in the economy, what's going on in the portfolio and these companies because the mainstream media will not talk about that. And that's why my radio show is one of the top rated shows in San Diego investment shows because we talk about what's really going on, not the craziness and the emotional things of the market. I guess one of the biggest problems is exactly I was a day trader at one point. I tried it out for oh, a, shame about a year, shame. year or two, and it was high adrenaline. Well, I'm not that kind of. I'm a you know extreme sports athlete yes. by trade, so I I loved it, you know. But um, but we won't go into that. But uh, <laughs> but the whole thing, like you said about technology, is we can we can watch a stock like it's like in a relationship, like it, it goes up and down all day long, right. and and people get caught up in that so much. Whereas if they just almost did, didn't watch the CNN or don't watch the ticker, it's like don't worry about it. You bought a company, mm-hmm. right? Versus a volatile, maniac, crazy place yes. <laughs> that it's, that's yep. out there. So, and, and the other thing I point out to people as well is, is that when you look at that, there might be 100 million shares outstanding. 
Well, for that day, the volume was maybe a million shares. It could be a small number of people buying and selling, buying and selling. You don't see the other 99 million shares that stayed there because people said, no, I'm going to hold it. Again, we see the ticker go across with people selling it that are maybe panicking or trying to trade it. You don't see the, what the investors do. And we think of Warren Buffett. He doesn't trade. You right. know, most successful investor ever. Yeah. He, he, I love listening to his stuff all the time on, even on Facebook now, you mm-hmm. even see his stuff on there, but it's all over the place. It's just, he's just patient, yes. you know, and patient yeah. in what he does and so on and so forth. So let's get a little bit into you. Mm-hmm. I mean, the first time I met you was at a couple of events here in San Diego and you're just calm, collected, just, you're not trying to own the room or anything like that. You're just a very peaceful person from what I've seen from the outside. And again, this right. is really the first time I really have physically talked to you or even shook your hand. So, yeah. um, Tell us more about you and your personality. I mean, I know you love cars and and maybe some of your vision in life. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously you're very successful, right? Very right. successful, and and you're like me. You're a car buff. I love cars. I had a AMG uh, Mercedes once, and I just drove the thing every day. And I see you always have your car out, and that's great. That I, I want to commend you on that. By the way, you actually drive your cars. You don't yes. collect them and have them stick stay in the garage. I, I said, if I ever could afford a nice car, I am driving every day, and every one of my friends is going to drive it. <laughs> Well, I, I disagree on the last part. I'm not going to people drive my, because my, my yeah. Lamborghini is like 700 horsepower. You don't want people driving it because well, you can go back like, oh, they crashed. Yeah. <laughs> they well, that's what realize. Yeah. That's a lot of horsepower. I mean, well, oh, I know. It, it will do some crazy things. But uh, you, you kind of gave me a lot of things to talk about there, but I, I'll kind of try and remember the start yeah, there yeah. was when I go to events, I'm kind of calm and so forth, that I don't try to own the room. I, I could ask, well, what if I'm trying, but I don't do a good job at it? No, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you need to listen to Marty Fellers. Uh, oh, you, you know, if I can just take a time, I mean, Marty's one of my, my great friends. He's a great guy he is such a good uh, role model for many people he is a truly a good person isn't he that really tries to help people out and i i've learned a lot from marty and i'm successful but you never can stop learning and marty is just a great person to learn from he, he's very good but um when i go to events i i like seeing people happy and i like you know shaking people's hand uh talking with them um them ask me questions and so forth i like meeting people and talking to people. And I learn things again from Marty. Um, but I like to see people happy. And, and awesome. I do a lot of charity work and stuff like that too because I, I like making people happy. And you just told me you're, you're uh, got a, uh, your football, was it the league, the league you were going to go teach well, on yeah, or something? Yeah, uh, I, I coach, uh, help coach. I'm, I'm not a, 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 an expert coach, but I help coach uh, Pop Warner football for 12 and 13-year-olds. And uh, it's a great thing because you see these kids that are, and again, it's a shame the number of people that don't step up and do this. And um, and I had one kid I coached years ago, my older son, and now he's a professional baseball player. Right. And it, it's just kind of nice to see these kids develop, and you've got kids that you're really helping them do something positive yeah. as opposed to going home and playing video games or worse yet, hanging on the street. So you don't have a kid that's in the Pop Warner. You're just going and doing it. No, I actually do have a son in a Pop Warner. Okay, yes, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, I actually so have four kids, yes. Okay, yes. so they're in it as well and you're teaching and you probably kind of find it as like a, a release from all of this. You know, I mean, just like you get to back and be around real people and just like enjoy life, not mm-hmm. not so much the hard, well, I don't know if this is hard work or not, but um, it just, I mean, I guess why I'm saying that is because like I watched a commercial this morning is is they took a uh, um, drug commercial and they convert it into uh, nature. So if you take a dose of nature right. and you, you'll find out how much healthy you are. So they were just basically promoting, hey, go on a hike instead of do a drug basically is what they're saying. And what I'm kind of saying is like you're taking that time to just go and get out of your space of the Lamborghinis and the assets and stuff like that and go and actually just be around kids and just help them. That's, I, that's you know, awesome. I, I love everything I do. I mean, I love my job. I love getting here in the morning. I've got a great staff, a great team I work with. I love managing money. I love talking to my clients. Um, I, I, I love working with my cars. Um, I like being out there working with the kids and stuff. Uh, although it's so hot out there right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? It's killing me. Uh, but, but it's just like, I love doing things and being part of it. And, and when I get up in the morning, it's very exciting because I don't know what I'm going to do for that day, but it, maybe it's working. Maybe it's working with the kids. Maybe we're doing a special event for our clients. Um, maybe it's a TV interview. I mean, I've done a lot on TV and radio. There's just life is so exciting. I mean, there's just so much going on. I, I just enjoy everything I do. That's awesome. Yeah. And time and time again, it tells us if the more we enjoy our lives, the more everything else comes in alignment, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, all of this comes in alignment. The, the, the friends come in alignment like Marty that comes into your life and comes into my life and now here we are today interviewing mm-hmm. each other or so to speak and having a lot of fun I, I feel the same way my life is I could die tomorrow and I've 
I lived it. You know, yes. I've traveled. I've been a professional athlete. I've done a, a show. I've developed software. I've built websites for companies and watched them grow. And to the point where they said, Dennis, take the website down. I'm making, I got too much coming in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's a really exciting to, to, you're right, see a person smile. So yeah. it, probably there's nothing better than a, pers- a client of yours coming in the office and saying, you know what, I'm glad I was patiently listening to you because you were right in the long run. Um, and the investments you put me in, so on and so forth. So, and I would tell you that's a big. Uh, we do a lot on Facebook and and LinkedIn and so forth. And I I, I really get a, a a very good feeling when I see some, somebody on Facebook. They send me something like I have this one guy Jason, and uh, he's been following me for years. And he goes, "You've you've taught me so much about investing, and I and I I now know how to invest as opposed to uh, lose my money like many people do in the past by gambling in the stock market. And it's just a, it's a nice thrill to do that. And I love helping my clients. I mean, the, the best comment I got from a client, uh, he was with me for 30 years. I've been doing this for a long time. And he started off with, I believe, I think it was 30, maybe $40,000 years ago. And it was about a year ago, he came up and he goes, I just want to thank you for making me a millionaire. Now, I didn't grow that $30,000 a million dollars, but it was this ongoing process right. of, of doing the right things by investing the money properly and him adding to it. And it does work, but don't do crazy things that come to investing. But that was very rewarding feeling for me and I felt very heartfelt when he told me that because wow I, I'm doing something to really help people out right literally and they're gonna they're gonna be helped forever at that point because once you retire you're like oh, I got a try I got a retirement like yes. my, my brother's a perfect example right now he's he's getting to that age where he's 50 55 years old and it's like I gotta I gotta retire so he's like scrambling. Are you telling around. me he hasn't re- saved anything yet? You're saying? Well, he had he had some, some? money saved, yeah, okay. um, a couple hundred thousand or whatever. But okay. they now they're like really like thinking about it. You know right. what I mean? Like they didn't really think about where they're gonna do what they're gonna do. So they're now running around and and doing all of that. You know, planning it all out. They're up right. in L.A. and it's really, you know, one day we all have to wake up and go. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to work anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna. <laughs> want to go golf I'm right. gonna want to just relax you right. know and you gotta have a plan right and, and, and one thing that uh, and again if I can uh, encourage people to do is start early my son's you know 22 he's been with about seven years now working in the firm we're trying to get more younger people in here to do this because you miss the compounding effect I tell people if you have a hundred thousand dollars today in seven years that'd be worth two hundred thousand 14 years four hundred thousand 21 years eight hundred thousand and then 28 years, 1.6 million. Wow, that's your retirement. But right people there. have to start early. And, and, you, and I've had people come in at 55, 60, I'm gonna retire in five years, I have no money. Like, oh my gosh, there's nothing you can do but work another until you're like 80, 85, you know, so. Yeah, I, I, I'm self-employed, so I started an IRA and I, I put money in it for a while then and I decided to pull the money out and put it in my house. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sure it was a good idea or not. We'll have an old, uh, another conversation about that. That's <laughs> not what you want to do. And, and, and I will tell you, now, I'm gonna offend some people here, but I will tell you the best investment to do is a IRA or a SEP IRA yeah. or your retirement account, yeah. better than real estate, better than anything else, because you get a tax deduction, it grows tax deferred for you, and it's, a, it's, it's again, you gotta have a great retirement. Your house, when you do a house in real estate, you don't realize, like, oh, it appreciates. The house does not appreciate. The land does. Right. You have a depreciating asset on land. Right. The house will Cost depreciate. It, it's going to have piping's going to be fixed, faucets, electrical problems. It's going to cost you money. What appreciates is the land, not the house. So, and you That's get no good. tax deduction. You get the yeah. interest, but again, you're still you. You give somebody a dollar to get a three cent write off. Yeah. You put a dollar in the IRA, you get a dollar write off. It's a great thing, a best investment. I, I just ever. did that. I did it my own little podcast on that exactly what you just said people always go to me oh you know i got a write-off in my business i'm like no you didn't get a write-off you you spent that money <laughs> <laughs> right i know <laughs> you're getting like you said three cents back you yeah know? yeah you with the ira you you put the dollar in you keep the dollar and you get the write-off what a great deal well you know I mean, what, it brings me to the next subject and i'm sure we can blend into it here is is like americans are a majority of them not all of them of course they're 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 led to believe in that kind of stuff all the time. Like they, they take that first sentence because of the media and how they put it out there and they just don't read into anything and everything. And it includes investments. Mm-hmm. It includes anything that like I even taking the Patriots and football, my friends like, Oh my God, they cheated because of the microphones. <laughs> they didn't, the NFL handles the microphones. They, they, they can't cheat there. You know, right. it's like they read the first sentence. They didn't read the fact that, Oh, that by the way, they don't, you know what I mean? So, but a lot of that happens with our president's race, our investments, our, Everything is like, if there's some way we could somehow convince people even today on this microphone, it's like, read into more of the long term or the the details of anything you do, whether right. it's investment or relationships or business or 
presidents or whatever. It's like we don't read the full. Yeah, Dennis, you you hit the nail on the head because what media is, and again, I'm in the media. I do national TV. I do local TV. I do radio. I'm in the media. Right. But the media itself, you get in small snippets of things. You have to read into the details because when we do a segment, um, it's usually three to four minutes. That's not enough to understand things. Right. And the whole idea of the media, and I say this in my radio show, their job is not to educate you or to make you smarter. Their job is to sell commercials to make money to stay in business. And that's why all they talk about is the negative side, the emotional side, to get you to keep watching that TV. Right. So you've and got it to, works. And it works, it does. But what it does, unfortunately, is it doesn't make you a smarter person. Right. It makes you an emotional person. So you've got to step away from that and say, okay, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about stocks investing. Well, th well, this company, oh, you know, this company did some bad things. Well, you read the details, maybe it's a great time to buy that company, but you won't know just by a two or three minute talking head on TV, talk about all the bad things of it. Right. I, I just, I think of that every day. You know, the greatest, I have the greatest job in the world because I get to interview people like yourself and all these areas. Like I, I have a difficulty with spelling and grammar and my life. So I got the, this, Genius that's invented this new technology. We have that in common, by yeah. the way. <laughs> I, I can't spell to save my life. Um, There's I, a thing called spell check, which helps <laughs> that a lot. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work for me. I'm telling you right now, it does not work for me. It's so bad, so misspelled. But I brought this lady on, and, and she's given me this technology to improve my spelling and reading, and, it, and um, it's just amazing what it's done. Like I, I used to be able to like read a hundred words a minute, and now mm -hmm. I'm already up to three hundred. I can get up to nine hundred if I keep doing it, but I've been neglecting wow. it because I've been so busy doing interviews and stuff like that. But now that the September is coming and we kind of get more in our, our patterns more in the fall than we do in the summer, I'm going to be back into it. But I got the opportunity to interview her and now I got it for, for free because I'm trying it out right. and I'm promoting it and so on and so forth. And it's like I get to get great advice from you here today and Marty Fowler and all these great guests. I was on ESPN radio the other day. It's just so exciting. And same with you. You get to go meet all these great people, you know, giving them advice. Mm -hmm. And, and there's, a, there's an exchange there as well. So right, it's really right. nice. Yeah, our whole thing is to make people money. And, and right. again, there's a lot of, and I just wrote a column, I wrote a column for the paper. Unfortunately, I've been writing for this paper for 15 years. And 15 like, years. 15 years. And unfortunately, it's one of the many papers now that uh, their last uh, uh, paper, I think, comes out uh, next week. Uh, the San Diego Daily Transcript. Been around for a hundred and some years, and they're closing the doors because of the internet. You know, that, that well, happens. Right. But I've been writing for them for 15 years. But the, the, the story I'm doing now, the column, is how when many times I meet people, they'll say, oh, you know, my guy, he's the same thing as you, he's a broker. It's like, we're not a broker. What we have is we have what's called a individualized, concentrated value portfolio. And, and what it is, it's individualized to people. We actually buy small pieces of these large companies and we manage them. It's not your normal brokerage thing. And and again, I can encourage people to go to my website, go to uh, uh, Facebook, will be on there, uh, where it talks about this. Because the reason why people lose money investing is they don't understand enough about it. And I've seen, unfortunately, this industry does track a lot of people because they make a lot of money, but it also attracts a lot of crooks. And you can name yeah. many over the years because it, you can make a lot of money by ripping people off. So you've got to understand more about it. Uh, we post on Facebook almost every day some information about the economy, something to make people smarter. Um, I just feel so bad. And I've seen it happen too many times where people come to my door and like, yep, I just had this guy come the other day and he, he lost a half million dollars with this other guy. I hate that, you know. And yeah, we try to avoid it. That's another interesting um, thing about the the stock market and investment. You know, you could lend a friend say fifty thousand dollars, and if he lost it, you know, a lot of people would just lose their mind, like, "Oh my God, I can't believe he did that." Right. But he could put it in a stock market and lose it in a day, and like, "Oh man, I lost it." You know. <laughs> well, you, you, you know, ever thought about that? Like, well, I, you know, I have, <laughs> and, and 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 what I tell people is that, and they'll blame the stock market. Oh, yeah. the stock market. It's like, no, I the, the stock market is the stock market again, yeah. this market of stocks you can go to. It's Vegas. But what people, <laughs> what it is on the short term, yeah. uh, on the long term it's not. Right. And, and what you have to do is I tell people, the stock market didn't hurt you, you hurt yourself exactly. by doing a crazy Bingo. things. You did no research. I mean, we look at the financial statements of these companies. Every quarter I read all the conference calls. I spend hours each each a quarter reading all this information on each company to understand this business. And if you go in and buy a company because you saw it on TV or you said, oh, they, they're going to cure cancer for, it's like, and you go out and buy the, the company, it's like, you're crazy. You don't understand what you're doing. And, and there's unfortunately many brokers do the same thing and people lose money that way and they blame the stock market. It is not the stock market. Yep. You're not doing or your financial advisor 
is not doing enough research to understand what they're buying. And I'll vouch for that because I've done that several times. I've invested in companies and put 20000 here, th- well, whatever. And the last one I just did, I sold one of my companies and I said, oh, you know, I'll throw a bone to my friend. He's like, oh, you know, that they need a bridge loan, this and that. And I didn't do the homework. Mm-hmm. I-, I knew in the end, after I actually researched it, like what was going on, I just said, you know what? I trust them. Here's the money. I just right. from, like, of course, he did the whole, you got to do it today. The, you know, the whole shaman- shenanigans. And I go back and I look at the deal. And he's like, they were trying to raise $300,000 for this company. Right. right. And Google Ventures was going to buy it. And okay, great. So I'm going to get my money back. Yeah, you might even be able to get five times. You might get you know, the whole shamil. And I went back and I looked at it. And I was like, one, why did they even take my money? Because they were supposed to raise 250000 They never even got to their, their ceiling. <laughs> so if this person's so smart, why did he even let them cash my check right. and take my money and spend it? Because it was supposed to raise two hundred fifty thousand. Anybody in this room would know that. Well, if they didn't raise to their, to their amount, then it shouldn't have been taken. It they should have gave it back. So what they right. should have done, right? Right. Right. And, and that's the kind of common sense we should have. Um, right. 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 And, and I tell people these are private investments. You're gonna lose on those. Very rarely will you make out because I'll vote for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be, because again, and I hear this all the time. There, there's this, you know, oh, there's this restaurant starting in San Diego, and this guy, oh, he's successful and so forth. And I said, well, if he's so successful, why does he need this money? Right. Well, he lost all his money in 2008. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, he's not that successful because <laughs> success is when you make it through the difficult times as well. Right. Exactly. But they do it because they think something great is going to happen. And then they lose their money. It's like, oh, you know. And I've seen it happen way, way too many times. But yet they say stocks are risky. Stocks are not risky. You make them risky by doing risky things. I like that. And I want you to repeat that for my audience because that's that's really a theme of the show right here is like exactly what you just said. Sure. And say it again. Uh, stocks are not risky. You make them risky by doing risky things. Right. And that's something really to understand everybody. I mean, I'm learning here today on the show, and I didn't come here to get learned. I just came to interview, but I'm learning something very, very important that I'm going to take away from this show. And we want you guys to take away something from this show here today. And um, what, guess what? We're already at 22 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it goes by quick. Goes by quick. And, and my goal here is that if I can have just one person that's listening to us here say, you know what? I want to find out more about how to invest properly. I want to get Brent's newsletter. I want to be on his Facebook to get these posts. I want to be his, his client and so forth then that's, that's important to me. That that's, makes it worth it because right. I hate when I see people lose money. You don't have to lose money. If you would do it right and do what we do, you can make money. And again, if one person watches this, does that, I'm going to be thrilled. Exactly. I, and I, I believe it. it's, 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 I'm, 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 hist- I'm, I'm losing the word here. I am living proof of exactly what you're saying. All the wrong things. I've done them all right over and over again. I, I, I've had that personality, but now it's like, I realize that, I got to do the right thing. You know, yep. I got to research. I got to take the time. Basically, it's the time and the patience and, right. and have somebody like you behind me to, to understand and, that. And kind I of will thing. tell you, Dennis, we have a lot of very smart people, smarter than myself, mm-hmm. but they don't have the, the d- desire or the inclination to do all the research. It does take a lot. Does. And we've got doctors, we've got attorneys, we've got smart business people. They don't have the time or the desire to do it. And it takes a lot of time. I mean, this is our full time job. And I'll be frank with you 99% of people, don't have the time or the knowledge to do it. They should no. actually hire somebody smart to do it. And that's why we do the radio show on Saturday mornings on KFMB. That's why we do the newsletters and all these other things to help people understand more of what we're doing. And that's why during this market correction, we only had one person call that was concerned and she's only been with us for six months and, and she still stayed with it, but everybody else has been with us for a long time. Oh, we want to add to the account. We know we're buying good quality companies. Right, awesome. This is awesome to take you to be here with you today. Um, if people want to get a hold of you, the website, if you want to give that away or sure. your, a phone number or whatever, your Facebook, sure. whatever, this is your time. We'll to do it all. Plug. We'll do it all. Yeah. They, they can contact us through our website, which is smartinvesting2000.com. Very easy. Remember, smartinvesting2000.com. Uh, the phone number here at the office is 858 546 Four three zero six, and if you put my uh, name Brent Wilsey into Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, uh, will pop up, and we'll accept anybody as a friend or as a connection, whatever they call it, uh, and you'll get posts and stuff from us and education to help make you a smarter investor. Awesome, and I'll also vouch for like the the return call and everything. I mean, I, I set up this meeting with him. Uh, his, his gracious staff has just been on top of things and and um, very welcoming. Uh, they've been welcoming since I got here and even before I got here. So I can vouch for all the professionalism over here at Wellesley, Wellesley, 
We'll see. We'll asset see management. asset management. And, and I'm screwing you, it up again. That's all. Yeah. And, and, and again, I, I didn't even get to talk about that. I mean, the business side. Make of sure it. you know his name. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you know how to pronounce it before you walk in the door. <laughs> You'll get a lollipop. <laughs> is that it, it, it's so important too, is not just that we make people money, but how we treat people. Again, we have our 24 hour return there. phone call policy. Very important to keep, you know, people call you, hey, you're important. I'm going to call you back. Right. Uh, when they come in, they greet you with a smile. And we know those people. We want to make them feel very good. We do our client dinners and brunches uh, every quarter. Um, I love working with people and making them money, but uh, my whole staff, they're phenomenal as well with people. So it just, it's a pleasure serving people. Awesome. Awesome. And that's it. I guess that's it. I was, I wanted to make sure the radio station to you. Oh yes. I'm just glad you mentioned that. Yeah. It's uh Saturday mornings at eight o'clock on KFMB AM 760 is the, uh, the call numbers on the, on the dial there. That's awesome. every Saturday. Morning. And you can listen to it by podcast as well through our website. Oh, you so, have a podcast too. We have yes. podcast too. Right. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Great. Brent, thank you so much for coming on You're the welcome. show. This went so fast, as I'm sure there's a thousand things we could talk about, but our, you know, our listeners only listen for so long, so I don't want to take up their time either. Maybe we'll have to have you on for another one. Sure, definitely. So, Love to do it. All right. Thank you again. And audience, I hope you learned something here today. I hope he was inspiring you to understand that patience is, is definitely the key in dealing with assets. And these guys over here at Wealthy Asset Management. I did it right. We'll see. You we'll did see. It right. We'll see you later, everybody. <laughs> talk <we> soon. <laughs>